Right there we have a raw fish, and that is uh, my 11 month old Lycan Shepherd Ulu. And this is a mukbang video. Lulu is currently blowing her coat. That's why you see the tufts of hair all over. Yeah, good girl. She just wanted to tell me thank you for the fish. Yeah, she's blowing her winter coat. The uh, light tufts of hair you see all over her, her undercoat. We just got back from a uh, several mile hike through the Mississippi River Valley and uh, this raw fish is going to be a post hike snack for her. I feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet. It's an acronym for biologically appropriate raw foods. It's one of three uh, main uh, raw diets you can feed your dogs, the other two being the prey model diet and the RMB or raw meaty bone diet. I'll provide uh, several links in the video description if you want to learn more about how to feed your dogs raw. This isn't a standard uh, raw meal for one of my dogs. This is just a post hike snack. She'll get her uh, raw meal later on today. Lulu is a 11 month old Lycan Shepherd. For those who will ask, what's a Lycan Shepherd? It's a uh, new breed of dog that's in the early stages of development. Ulu's from an F1 breeding in that project. Raw bones are perfectly safe for your dog. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Dogs are biologically designed to process raw meaty bones. Canines have been doing it for millions of years of evolution. If you'd like to learn more about uh, what goes into your commercial pet foods, I recommend you check out the documentary on Netflix called Pet Fooled. It'll really open your eyes. For those who will ask, yes, the fish has its scales and fins. I don't remove them. If I am feeding my dogs catfish, bullhead, eel pout, and fish like that that have those sharp spines, I do cut those off. Scales aren't an issue. Either is fur when you feed them wild game like deer. Before feeding dogs raw fish, you should feed the fish, or you should freeze the fish a period of uh, three days. That will kill any potential parasites in it. If it's salmon or trout or other fish that spawn up rivers, they should be frozen seven days because of the type of parasites those fish have. You don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with canines. 18% of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. They have stronger digestive juices and a shorter G-tract than we do, so they don't have to worry about raw food bacteria they're designed to deal with it don't take my word for it though as I always say I'm just some guy on YouTube I provided several links down below in the video description check them out do what you want this is just what I do with my dogs that is my 11 month old Lycan Shepherd having a post hike snack. That's all folks, hope you enjoyed it, bye.